Welcome back guys to another replay master duel video today I got a little story for you before we start off the, before we start off the duels a couple nights ago My internet was being really bad and by the bad I mean every speed test I did was at 93.5 megabits per second and we normally get 900 for download so Master duel decided to do connection failures and make me take like a good amount of L's for due to that and I'm like all right I'm a little, I'm a little peeved, you know, I'm a little upset. So as you guys know, I run my hero deck. The next duels you are about to see, I don't even think I could make any better plays. I go for the throat here. I, I pull no punches. I gotta say though, ever since Hulk is banned, I've been having a better time on ranked. I'm no longer will we have the Hulk Aurora Dawn bull that we have to worry about. So we have the hero deck versus branded dragon maids. Now remember what I said, this is, I think this was after my internet was just having so many issues. So I was just going full nonstop. You dead. They decide to gamma for the negate, but I have Ash Blossom. Do I let it? Yep. I let it go through. Okay. That's fine. And I'm just like, sure. If you want to gamma that, I'm fine with that. And then I normal summon Vion because I hero live the Stratos, pitch the Shadow Mist, activate Shadow Mist to pull Honest Neos. And Vion should banish Shadow Mist to get a Polymerization to fuse along with Vion and Liquid Soldier to pull Sunrise. But I can't activate Sunrise for Miracle Fusion. So what do I... So I guess I just activate Liquid Soldier. I don't remember what I do here or what I pull. I pitch the Ferris. Okay. I Miracle Fusion straight from the gate. All right. Into absolute zero, because it's the only thing you do. Defense, because if they have lightning storm, I'm screwed. Their turn comes around. This is a branded dragon maid, so let's see what they have. They summon chamber dragon maid. They get their dragon maid changeover. I I think I messed up. I literally I legitimately think I messed up. Because I toggled off. Because Honest Neos would have just said, Oh, do you want to activate? Do you want to activate? And I'm like, no, I don't want to. But I forgot to toggle on the second I saw chamber dragon mate or i would have asked that but that was so weird they i drove and lockbird them because they pulled out of their draw phase so they couldn't draw any more cards for the turn they could have gotten their but they just saw drill and lockbird they're like nah fam i'm good good this next one is sacred beasts a 50 card deck of sacred beasts to be honest well sacred beasts and you have better than they super dark not zeus all right i decided to draw and lockbird it so he can't draw anything and set two and pass that's what that's all he's got my draw phase comes around, I pull Ash Blossom, so we start with the E Emergency Call, I believe grabbing... F oh, uh, I was gonna say, Ferris for that to pitch Liquid Soldier. Maybe I grab Ferris from here, but the Effect Veiler is my Stratos regardless, so that's fine. That's negated, so I set two and pass. Well, set two, kill his Dark Summoning Beast. Or Dark Beckoning Beast, God! So confused on those two names. His turn comes around and activates Opening of the Spirit Gates. Pulls his Chaos Summoning Beast. Uses Chaos Summoning Beast, but I, you know, droplet it. Can't activate your effects. Is that a, is that a pass? Oh no, he gets Dark Beckoning Beast out. This should be a Link Summon into Salomon Gray Al, Al Mirage. Monster Reborn into, yeah, the Chaos Summoning Beast. I did get kind of scared. Because he, he was just seeming to pop off like crazy. And the IP Masquerina, so he does have an Interrupt. My turn comes around. Draw an Honest Neos. I literally have nothing aside from Liquid Soldier. He's He decides to max C, but... And chain the IP. Going to what? Nightmare Unicorn. Okay. But when the battle phase comes around, I just activate Honest Neos and I get Nightmare Unicorn out of there. Nightmare Unicorn's only for spell and traps. It's not monsters. Nightmare Phoenix should be monsters. If this card is Link Summoned, you can discard one card. Oh, he didn't have a card to discard. That's why. So he could shuffle... A card from my field into my hand. Oh, that's right. He was running Mech Knights. So he decides to activate his Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. I decide to Ashy. He cross outs me because, of course, he does. Which is fine, I guess. I guess my mistake was summoning my monster in a different column. Or in the same column. So he activates Gearsu. Pitch World Legacy. Gearsu second effect activates. Summoning a token. To both sides. Links away into... Leave the world Keyblade Master. If this man just popping off too much. Gets his Fallen Paradise. Activates Fallen Paradise. 
Paradise Paradise. Chains sets world legacy secret. And I think that's a oh, battle phase. Cool. I agree. Now, I had no idea how I was able to come back from this, if I'm being brutally honest. Except I pulled Denier. So Denier and I link away into Cross Crusader, I believe. And then we go into Cross Crusader's effect, which is getting Denier back. And Tale is old this time. Let's see what, we, well, let's see what I pull here. A Dusted Gold. So I go into Malicious Bane, no doubt. Because I have... Do I have Ferris Engrave? No, but I have Honest Neos, and that's good enough for me, baby. Do that, pop that, battle phase, and he activates World Legacy Secret, I think for the sake of activating it, and then that's just death right there. This one is a 60 card cyber deck. This one was, oof. I don't know what he was going on with, or what he had, but a 60 card deck has the potential to break, I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember which replay it is to where I just go full, like cracked out of my mind. But, you know, my first instinct, the second I see Cyber Dragon Infinity over here, I'm pretty sure I'm like, oh, I'm facing Cybers. And when I see Future Fusion as well, with the Cyber Valley and Set 1 Pass. I start, I decide to Harpy's, open Harpy's Feather Duster, of course, get rid of the Future Fusion. He Cyber Networks. I decide to Forbidden Droplet. Because... I didn't know what Cyber Valley did, and I think at this time at night, I didn't care to read. So I'm just like, it's on the field. I'm just going to negate it. So we Feather Duster, get those two cards out of there for the back row, and we pop those. Summon Increase, Battle. He tries to activate it. But then, here's the thing. I stupidly Mask Changed. Because I thought, oh, crap, he can do something. So I go into Dark Law, but then I discovered, oh, wait, it's still negated. So that was a misplay on my part for for missing out on extra 900 damage. His turn comes around, he just sets a monster and passes. That's the fault with a 60 card deck. Battle phase into you. Vanish again. And I end my turn. I have an Ash Blossom in hand, so that'll be helpful, but the Dark Calling does nothing for me, and same for the Frame Driver. He just draws and passes. He's got nothing. I've, I've pulled Malicious, but I don't want to do anything. So what do I do? I set my Ash Blossom because I think he's got nothing. I honestly think he has nothing. And that just confirmed it when he drew another and passed. So now what happens is that I pulled E-Call as well. So I believe when I start popping off, he might... <sighs> Never mind. I get Ash Blossomed. Which is fine. Because I set the Ice Blossom that I had going to Frame Driver. I'm like, you know what? We're just going to end it. And that is death. We got time for one more? Maybe we do. So let's see. This is... I have no idea what this... What this deck is. You guys can probably tell me, but... Oh my god. You had Anti-Spell Fragrance and Skill Drain and Ice Dragon's Prison? Jeez. My guy. I do remember him normal summoning a monster. And then maybe I stopped it. I don't know if they surrendered or not. But we're going to find out. Alright, he's going first. Oh, he opens with Fusion Destiny. So, pitching Dasher and Denier. Getting that DPE package out. Love to see it. He sets three. One monster, two back row, and passes. So, I'm thinking this is going to be kind of problematic. So, I decide to ride Geki. I don't know why he activated... Well, he probably activated because you can't activate... Can you activate it when it gets destroyed? That I have no idea. But I also destroyed his... Great old alligator. He decides to DPE effect, but I have Gamma and Frame Driver in hand. So, um... Yeah, your DPE's not really coming out, buddy. Sorry about that. Now I can start my combo with E-Call. I believe I save my normal summon because as... As a hero player, for God's sake, as a duelist, save your normal summon. If you could do everything else aside from your normal summon to start a combo, do it. But he also had infinite impermanence set. Which is fine. I don't mind that he decided to impermanence my Ferris. Because I still got my Shadow Mist draw off. And I pull Vion so I can actually combo start with Vion pitching Malicious. And then... I don't know if you scoop here, a Paleozoic. I think his thought process is, oh crap, I need to get rid of that Ferris. No. No, you don't. Because I can get Malicious. Get you to the field. Let's speed this up because this might take a little bit. Cross Crusader goes in. Activate Polymerization to... 
Okay. Could I not activate Cross Crusader's effect or something? Because I had a Destiny Hero in my grave. Let me carefully read Cross Crusader. Because I think that was a misplay. You can target one Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Yep, he's in the graveyard. I think that was a misplay. And I think this duel is how I came back from this misplay. So, let's see. Going to Sunrise, I can activate Miracle Fusion. Or can get Miracle Fusion. Activate Miracle Fusion. And then they decide to surrender. Like, everyone's scared of an OTK. Next opponent's deck is what seems to be... Oh. Oh. Oh, I know this one. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. Okay, 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 okay. This will be the last replay of this this hero video because this one by far is my favorite one that's a that's not bad of a start in hand i should say nice so they're going first now what they're going to do is they're going to exceed into a level four bahamut shark he detaches a material special summon one yep any special summons totally awesome now if you guys don't know what totally awesome does if you do props you're you guys are totally awesome once per turn during the standby phase you can detach one material from this card this card has no material currently Special summon one frog monster from your deck. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a spell, tra spell or trap card and monster effect, you can send one other aqua monster from your hand or field face up to the graveyard. Negate the activation if you do destroy that card. So you have a free negate and destroy, right? Okay. Keep that in mind. You have another aqua monster and totally awesome would count as itself for cost. Keep that in mind. My turn comes around. I pull Call by the Grave. I decide to pop off starting with my Vion starter, Pitching Shadow Mist. He, he's waiting. He's waiting to activate the effect because there, there is a simple area in the hero combo to stop it. Well, there's actually multiple ways. I just decide to go all in. I know he's going to negate me at some point. I just want to know where. Chain Link 1, Link, Liquid Soldier. Chain Link 2, Sunrise. He decides to totally, he decides to activate Totally Awesome, tributing itself. This was a very bad play. Can you guys... Let me ask you a question. Do you know what's coming next? What do I have in my hand? And he sent... The, the same monster... As cost for its own effect. So what do I do? Call by the grave. Targeting totally awesome. Banishing it. And its effects are negated. Now, I thought this guy was going to just surrender, straight up scoop after this, because that was, in my opinion, that was a that was a misplay. Either way, the combo continues. We get Crossout Designator and Ash Blossom. I decide to discard my Malicious. And we go into Fusion Destiny, pitching Honest Neos and Denier. But we're not done. Miracle Fusion. Gonna get my Absolute Zero out on the field. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, it's not Absolute Zero. Brain misplay. Activating Fusion Destiny, I can only summon Dark Monsters. But I realized that, and I'm like, okay, well, I guess it's only Dark Monsters. I guess I'm going full in. Decided to activate Malicious, then we're linking away Viana Malicious for Cross Crusader, and then Cross Crusader effect, targeting Denier, summoning Denier, activating Denier, getting Malicious back from Banished, use, using Malicious again, summoning Malicious, not off once per turn, activating Cross Crusader to tribute him, getting Evil Hero, a Dusted Gold, Getting Dark Calling, this is where I just decided to go for straight BM. I didn't care at this point, because remember, my internet was bad. Use Dark Calling, get evil here, Malicious Bane, link away in the Dread Decimator. This is dead. And you can still get a decent full combo. I'm not even sure if you would call this full combo, but you can get a decent combo, even if you decide to fusion Destiny halfway through. How many replays do I have? Do I, do I have one more? Yeah, I have, I have one more. Okay. We have a bunch of other wins, but you know what? We might make this a little bit of a long video. Just to show you what heroes are truly made of, when I did not care at all. So we have Galaxy. Good old Galaxy Eyes. This one I think was after, like I said, after my internet was just being so wonky and I was just not having it. I gotta give my man props for having the same sleeves and everything, aside from the little Moki Moki down there. So I'm going first this, this time around to get my starter Stratos. Picking up Ferris, activating Ferris, pitching Shadow Mist, because then I can get my summons and my draws. Let's go ahead, because we know this combo. We can just skip through it real quick. Increase, and I grab Liquid, Liquid Soldier with Shadow Mist. We do the increase play to where I can get Vion, use Vion, pitch Malicious, activate Vion, banish Shadow Mist, get the Poly, 
Do I hold malicious? I do. So I decide to fuse away increase and liquid soldier for sunrise and defense. I already have miracle fusion, so I don't get an effect. I managed to pull mask change to an e call. And what did I discard? I discarded a lightning storm because I felt like I didn't need it. Pull honest Neos with e call. End my turn. I think that was a good start. Good start to it because I have mask change, so I could just go into dark law, which is exactly what I do. I just decide to discard. Honest Neos, because I want to keep my Miracle Fusion and my Nib in case they really wanted to do something. So I'm not entirely sure what Galaxy Eyes can do, but I know they have a way of exceeding because they're all like rank level 4s into rank 4s, stuff like that. Battle Phase comes around. He hurts my Sunrise, which, fair. I agree to that. But you kept Dark Law on the field. By so Miracle Fusion. Away my Liquid Soldier and my Sunrise. For absolute zero. Now what do I pull with you? So I pull that, pitch my Royal Decree. Normal summon my Stratos. Get my Shadow Mist. Oh, that's right. Ferris for the Shadow Mist play. I, I did that play earlier in this duel. And yet I'm just like, wait, why did I do that? So same combo we got going on again. This is, this is where in this variant of the deck, I had two increase. I think in my current... Oh my god. Did you... Okay, I'll go over. I'll go over why I did that in a moment, because I believe that's why this that's why this dude must have surrendered after this. So, let me go into why I was running two increase in this time around. It two increase for specifically for this play if I pull another Ferris, so I can still have another full combo. The reason why, as well as I was testing something, I saw other hero players on YouTube. Shout out to all of you. You're beautiful. Where you have absolute zero on field and you use increase to tribute absolute zero. Why would you do that? Absolute zero's effect must be fusion summon gains 500 attack for each water monster on the field. Elementor except itself. If this card leaves the field, destroy all monsters your, component, your opponent controls. That means destroyed, sent. He could be banished from the field. He doesn't need to be in the graveyard for it to activate. He just needs to leave the field and increase tributes of hero monster. So let's see what happens. Absolute zero decides to pop and well, they surrender. That's how that goes. This The hero deck can have so many ways of surrendering, in which case of OTK or board wipes. My favorite play is the absolute zero mask change into mask hero acid for the spell trap board wipe and the monster board wipe but let's take a look at the hero deck list because i have a i have a couple people asking what's my variant of the deck list so here is my deck list i actually need to replace super poly because i got rid of it because i ran into a couple despia duels and they were main decking super poly and i had cross out but i'm like Fuck, i don't have super poly for target so i put it in there and then i realized i don't need it so I'm probably going to replace this with one with another A Hero Lives or I'll put Nib back in here. But you guys saw that Nibiru was in the previous duels. So the way it works is that this, this deck's always going to change no matter what. It's always going to change. And, you know, you can keep Nibiru around for Elemental Hero Gaia if you really want to. But let's go through it. One Frame Driver, one Drone Lockbird, one Gamma, one Increase, one or two you could switch out. Like I could replace this Super Poly with a second Increase if I wanted to. Two Ash Blossoms because I don't yeah I don't need three, I don't need three. It causes the this deck to brick so many times. If I have two Ash Blossoms, I see them more than I would. One Denier, two Stratos, two Vion, two Shadow Mist, one Adusted Gold, one Liquid Soldier, two Ferris, two Malicious, one Honest Neos, one Raigeki, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Poly, one Miracle Fusion. Three Emergency Call and one A Hero Lives. I run three to one ratio on this just because. E emergency call is is better for a bait, but if all you have is a hero lives, it might be worth, especially if you're going second. One dark calling, one fusion destiny, one lightning storm, one can be switched out for anything. Two mask change, one mask change, two, one call by, one cross out, two forbidden droplet, one royal decree. Now I can switch out royal decree for evenly mats for red rebo. I could switch out for a number of different cards. Good thing about this, it's always interchangeable. Extra deck consists of Elemental Hero Gaia, Masked Hero Dark Law, Destiny Hero Dangerous, Elemental Hero Sunrise, Elemental Hero Absolute Zero, Elemental Hero The Shining, Masked Hero Acid, Elemental Hero 
Escuridao. Don't know how to say that. Masked Hero Koga. Masked Hero Divine Wind. Even though I rarely use these two, you could switch them out for any other two monsters. Or if you have the Super Poly, you could have Starving Venom in here. Or one of the Proto Plant monsters. However you figure. Evil Hero Malicious Bane. Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Extra Hero Wonder Driver. Extra Hero Cross Crusader. Extra Hero Dread Decimator. Now, Wonder Driver I rarely use just because I don't really understand how he works. I feel like you have to do him mid-combo and not an end one. But I always go for Cross Crusader for the extension for draw power and Dread Decimator for the end board. That's usually what I do. But again, you're going to see a bunch of hero players do many different things. I want to actually ultimately build a pure Elemental Hero deck to where the extra deck is either Elemental Hero Monsters or Elemental Hero Mask Change for Mask Hero variants. I really want to test that one. I have an Evil Hero deck in the works to where it's pure Evil Heroes. I want to build, maybe do all the Vision Heroes. Ultimately, I will get there. But for a competitive Hero deck, this one kind of gets the job done. If I'm being honest. It gets the job done for me. Do you lose some? Yeah. Do you win more than you lose? Oh yeah. And you'll see that in other future videos because I don't think the replays that I, show, that I showed you guys were the busted ones. They were more so the a full extension combo. Even with Fusion Destiny, you could still use your Dark Type Heroes to your advantage. What good popping your own cards can do for you. That's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please remember to hit that like button. Subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you guys never miss an upload. Every Tuesday and Thursday, you're going to hit both Master Duel. Thank you, guys. My name's Rev. And keep being awesome.